let's get started. Here we go. Okay, so we got uh, episode six kicking off here. Uh, I want to welcome everyone here. If you're new to the show, you know, buckle in because <laughs> you're going to think this is friggin' wacky, dude. This You're going to think, you're going to be like, wait, who framed Roger Rabbit? Like, who? And I'm going to be like, just take it easy, okay? All will be revealed in time. He was like a weird, dark ca- cartoon guy. Yeah. But you think that he's like a cop? Yeah. Well, thanks for coming back on the show. <laughs> thanks for coming back on the show, Ian Witt. Happy to be here. I love the the outfit today. Yeah, I keep trying to find somewhere else to be on Sunday, but... We I, film on Sunday. Yeah, I keep finding a way to fit it in. How about those devils last night? Yeah. They, they lost. They Yeah. They lost. Well, it's because they worship Satan, and Satan is the ultimate loser. Mm-hmm. It's like how I feel about people, you know, I don't think that people who wave the Confederate flag are necessarily like evil people. I just think they bet on the wrong horse. It's like, you guys know that they lost the war. They lost. They're losers. Dude. Or like neo-Nazis. It's like, you mm-hmm. guys lost the war. The moral war. Not even the moral war, the literal war. They got their asses handed to them. They're losers. Why would you want to... Be a loser. Be a loser. Yeah. Yeah, Most people, when they become losers, they fall... They don't know that they are losers. And then somebody has to say, Hey, fucking loser. (laughs) Ha ha, give me your lunch money. Yeah. But like, you're talking about joining the losers willingly. And thinking... And trying to like make it edgy. Like, let's say there was no US draft, okay? In 1942, okay? Let's just go back in time. And let's analyze that for a second, okay? Yeah. If we were losing the war, do you think people would want to join that? No, that's why... They'd be moving to Canada. Yeah, that's why we stopped the draft after uh, Vietnam. Mm Mm-hmm. Because they were like, ugh. They are like, shoot, we lost. They were embarrassed. They were like, whoa, we can lose? Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) They were like, oh, this is what this feels like. Yeah. To lose. And ever since then, we don't have a draft anymore. Yeah. How do you feel about, you know, on this show, we cover all topics, okay? I I do want to do the introductions. Can I do those, please, for a second? Be my guest. I want to tell all you newcomers to the show, I know we had a lot of, we had an uptick last week, okay? And a lot of sales, also on Curls for Girls, Full Balls, and A Strange Spouse way up i want to thank everyone here you guys kick so much ass because you guys really really made our vendors happy and in return you know what i mean we're gonna keep the discounted price on the patreon we're very concerned about keeping our vendors happy yeah if a vendor happy vendor happy lender that's right and we're trying to get a house. And so we're gonna keep we're gonna keep rocking with the discounted price on Patreon. We want a few more people to join. I'd also like before to... we cut it, and then it's gonna be like a thousand dollars a month to just be there. And we're also gonna do a GoFundMe for the Crave House that we're that we're going to be acquiring in Georgia. The, the Crave, Crave House. House. How do you like the sound of that? It's gonna be like it's gonna be kind of like like. Uh, it's gonna be a mess. There's gonna be like a parachute room. Well, there's gonna be a banister, and you can parachute down to the second floor if you don't want to take the stairs. Yeah. Essentially, the show is leveling up in a major way. We're we're going from the cultural hub of New York City to what is really on the rise. Okay, Georgia. Okay. Peaches. <laughs> Georgia is kind of the next New York City. The ne- it's it's. People are marketing Georgia right now as Hollywood meets New York, okay? And so that sort of merging, we can't pass that up. We have to be a part of that. Yeah. It's like up high is Chicago and down low is is Georgia. Right. <laughs> exactly. So thank you guys all for supporting our vendors. Again, full balls, curls for girls, a strange spouse. You guys nailed it. Okay, and uh, you nailed that estranged spouse. You nailed it like a fucking hammer head shark with his head. 
<laughs> so, <laughs> so please keep supporting our podcast and tell all your friends about the podcast because a friend of a friend of a friend is still a friend. Is still a friend. Okay. So yeah. what's up, Ian Witt? Welcome to episode six. Does it yeah. feel like six? Are you like six? I feel like we did more than six. Are you like six? Sex? Yeah. I'm trying to think of a good pun. The, something that rhymes with six or sounds like six but isn't six. I got one here. I got one here. Is this episode six? Because I don't see Henry the Eighth. Oh, yeah, because that show six is on Broadway. Why do you got to deflate every pun? You're like... The airhead man. Who is your favorite of Henry the Sixth's wives? The uh, the second Anne, one. Anne Boleyn. Mm-hmm. Anne Boleyn. She was the one that everyone knows about. You know that everyone Ka- knows Boleyn. Catherine of Aragon. He literally locked her up in prison. Well, are you ranking them by the way the the creative ways that he killed them? He didn't kill Catherine of Aragon. Oh. She lived in prison and she stayed loyal to him. Even after he married girl after girl after girl. I can only hope that my wife is that loyal one day. Yeah, right? that you can just like put her in a castle yeah. and not let her leave. And that she will continue to be loyal to you. Yeah, yeah. But um, I know you've been kind of going through some like craziness kind of... This is a point in your life now where there's a lot of change happening. Yeah, I... Um... How do you deal with that change? Well, you know what I mean? Like, uh, like change. Like, what is that? You know what I mean? Like, what is change? How do you deal with that? Like, deal or no deal on change, Howie? Uh, Howie? Howie Mandel? What's his name? Yeah. Is that his last name? Yeah, he was. he's in Pinocchio 2000. Uh, did you ever see Pinocchio with Jonathan Taylor Thomas? I've seen all the Pinocchios. I'm a huge Pinocchio head. Have you read Pinocchio? I'm happy. Did you guys know that they're coming out with two Pinocchio movies a year now? Yeah, they passed a law. Guillermo del Toro's got six more Pinocchios coming out. One for each of Henry the Sixth wives. <laughs> That's right. And um, uh, how do you deal with change? You just don't accept it. No matter what happens, if life doesn't go your way, you have to stomp your feet and scream until people back off. Wow. And this has worked out for you so far. Oh yeah. The squeaky wheel gets the grease. Nobody gets nobody gets anything for being a good little soldier doing what they're told and falling into line. And what's up with everyone in our kind of generation, you know, expecting these handouts, you know what I mean? Like Things are given to them oh without my God. working for it. When, uh, when the, you know what I mean? When the pandemic hit, people I knew made more money than they've ever made in their lives or ever will make again. Wow. They were making 1100 a week Wow. on unemployment after like being servers. Yeah. 1100 a week for sitting on their butts. And then they'd go on food stamps and welfare and rent assistance and Medicaid. They were pulling in like six grand a month. Yeah. And all they had to do was... Watch Tiger King. Literally. And they were also complaining about that. And they were also... They were sitting there watching Tiger King and they were like, oh, and it's, they were it's, like, I'm, it's muggy in here. Where's the air conditioning? Yeah, and they... Air conditioning's broke. Yeah, and they'd be like, what What was the girl's name in Tiger King? Carol? Carol. Carol Baskin. Yeah. She killed her husband. And I know this to be true. <laughs> She got a million dollars and a bicycle, and I heard that it's brand new. Okay. All right. I mean, that's... <laughs> you fell out for a second that's there. Kind of, that's kind of fun. No, I'm, I'm okay. I'm all right. Yeah. I'm chilling. Well, I'm, because they're like, wow, she got a new bike. Yeah. She yeah. must have a lot of money. Yeah. Dude, I'm chilling. But here, let me tell you about my night last night. Can I tell you a little bit about that? Yeah. Um, so I'm walking out of the club, okay? And what time? It was like, good question. It was like 1.30 a.m. It's early. Pretty early for me, right? But yeah. I, there was this girl, it was this like bartender actually, this girl. She was giving me the, the eye all night. And I was like, is this the evil eye or is this the... Very hard to tell the difference sometimes. Yeah, I didn't know if it was a stink bug or if it was a ladybug. You know if what I mean? you can't tell, it's usually a stink bug. Yeah, like a stink eye or like a ladybug eye. 
Yeah. You know, two different <laughs> two different eyes. Okay. One is but all I, white. I had the eye of the tiger. I was like, Rah. you know what I mean? Like the whole mm-hmm. night. And so I'm giving her the eye. She's giving me some some eye. I don't know what eye it is. Yeah, you know, I didn't know if it was the queer eye too. I didn't know. That's, she might have thought you were a woman. That's another eye. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I'm, so there's like three eyes. In my, I'm like, which eye is it? And so she buys me a drink, right? She buys me a drink. The bartender. I thought she was working. She's working, but she's like feeding me sauce. Did she put it on your tab? She gave, no. No. She gave me some sauce and it was like the best. She was like a mixologist. Okay. It was like the best drink I've ever had. There was like maple syrup in it. I don't even know what she did. She just like made this concoction. And I was like, wow. I was like blown away. I was like, that's metal. I was like, I was like Judas Priest. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? And so she gets off work at 1.30. She's like, hey, you should come back to my place. So that's why I left at 1.30. I was like, oh shit. Okay, this is my chance. Normally I was going to stay till like 4 a.m. I like to see things through, you know, at the club. And I'm like, fuck, okay, all right. Like, th- like, how many times have you been with a bartender, right? None. None times, right? First time for me. And I've been, I've been like, you know, hit it hard. So it's like... It, it's, it, bartenders are, you know, they're always, a, they're always a good time. Yeah, well, I'm walking out of the... Because cl- they're not happy with where they are in life. I'm walking out of the club with this bartender. She's gorgeous. Yeah. Like... Almost as pretty as my wife from Amsterdam. <laughs> what about your girlfriend? Well, I she I we'll get to that later. We're we're talking about stuff right now. You're, you're talking about your yeah. Walking out of the club with her, all of a sudden a group of guys was trying to like get in and they couldn't get in, so there was like a little scuffle by the entrance of the of the club. And she's getting scared. And they were all frustrated. She was getting scared. Her ex boyfriend's in the, in that group. And is he getting the shit beat out of him? Her ex boyfriend's in that group. Okay. And is he getting his And ass you know, last night it was raining a little bit, so I kind of had my, I, I had like my my jacket. Oh, it over. was raining bad. Yes, it was raining. It was raining, and and I was like, oh shit, okay, All right, let's just like walk by these guys, right? And the guy recognizes her underneath the jacket. The the ex boyfriend, and he's like, hey, I see you, and he, I guess he was trying to get into the club to confront her, mm-hmm. at the bar. Right, but now he's catching her outside of the bar, right? And I'm like, who is that? Like, what the fuck's going on? I'm just trying to like get out of there a little bit. I'm trying to walk down the sidewalk at this point. And it's raining and it's like, it's like, hey, turn around, turn around. I see you. I'm not going to say her name, but I see you. And she's like, oh my God, oh my God. Like, can we just get out of here? Like, I'll call an Uber or whatever. And you're like, no. I'm like, no, I don't do fucking Ubers, okay? I'm, I'm going to walk. walk. I'm gonna or walk. take the train. I, I like the train. Yeah. The train is a good excuse to do all that first date stuff right then and there on the way to. Name, name seven first date things that you might do on the train. Where are you from? What do you do? Um, what are your dreams in life? Siblings, parents, family, and uh, what's your favorite color? That's six. That was five. <laughs> well, I guess you did like siblings, parents, families. Mm-hmm. So he, so he trips her. He like sticks his leg out, right? And she goes face first into a puddle. And that's a New York City puddle. Yeah. That's not a country puddle. No. It's like, there was like bacteria and like... Chemicals and... Muck. Just she gets down in that muck. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, holy shit. Like I turn around and this dude's big. And you're not going to kiss her now. This dude's big. He's like, he's like this. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck. He's, he, like, a, he, he's like, I don't know which one is the big one, but he's one of the two skull, bulk and skull from Power Rangers. He's the big one. Yeah. You know, he looked like he was like a Power Ranger villain kind of look. Like he didn't have a lot of facial expressions. And he's just like, Blue, he, he looked like Bluto mixed with like a Power Ranger villain. And so I'm like, fuck, okay. He looks like a total Chad. And I'm, I'm, I'm looking like me, right? I'm just in, I'm in my devil's jersey. Yeah. You're not intimidating at all. No. So I'm like, hey. Dude, watch it. I just, I give him like a little watch it. And he's like. <laughs> After he pushed her into the mud and you're like, hey, watch it. Yeah, and I'm, I'm helping her up. All right, dude. I, I mean, this was like a crazy, because his friends were all there too. It was a whole. Were you pretending that he did it on accident? No, I like, just. Like, hey, watch it. I gave him a little, hey, watch it, dude. Okay. 
That makes it sound like you are giving him space to to claim that it was a mistake. No, no. There's no mistakes in life. There's no mistakes. So he's like, hey, fuck you, dude. Let me talk to her. And I'm now I'm in front of her. She's getting off the ground. I'm trying to help her up, but I'm also just trying to like shield her. And she's got mud running down her no, whole body. No, total. I mean, she's a mess. Like I don't even want to sleep with her at this point. Yeah. But at this point, I'm just I'm just trying to be a good human being and just help her out. Yeah. And so I and so she's like, oh my god, uh, stop it, name, stop it, stop his it, name. name, his name, and, and, his and name he's is like, name. he's like, hey, I told you I wanted to fucking talk. Why do I have to fucking come down here and just to get a word with you? What the fuck? And I'm like, all right, I don't know what's fucking going on here, but you guys got to stop this right now because I don't know you and I'm just trying to sleep with and you. And did you fall into your character while you were doing it? I left. <laughs> I just left. Okay. So I was going <laughs> so to ask you. So like there was a whole thing. I just left. I just mm-hmm. started running. What made you start running? I just was like. You just realized that you had nothing to gain. Yeah. I was like, I don't know what's going on here. You look big. You have big friends. You don't look as attractive to me anymore in all this muck. And I literally just started running down uh, 8th Avenue. And you run very well when it's raining. Oh, yeah. You know how to make your feet... It's like, it's like an 80s montage. You were on 8th Avenue. Mm-hmm. What, what were you doing on 8th Avenue? That was where the club was. Oh, were you in like Hell's Kitchen? Yeah, 8th and like 40... Fifth or something like that. Okay. Yeah, I was in Hell's Kitchen. Yeah. And Hell's uh, Kitchen is okay. Yeah, it was. I mean, hot bartenders, you know. Yeah. And uh, so I just I left. Do you go to Hell's Kitchen to flirt with the bartenders? <laughs> yeah. And so I was going to ask you, what would you have done in that situation? Uh, if I had been in that situation, I would have gotten a car and avoided the whole situation. But it was right as I was leaving. Yeah, and you left relatively early. I don't know how she finished her shift at one thirty. Yeah. That's suspect to me. Yeah, no. It was like crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's the craziest part it was of the like story. Crazy. The craziest part of the story is that the bartender got out at one thirty in Hell's <laughs> Kitchen and not four thirty. Well she was she was on the like six PM to one thirty shift. Yeah, was she <laughs> passing out like was she passing out like those shots that are those tube shots? No, she was doing the whole like when I when I first saw her, she was doing the whole like uh, shots in front of the building, like sample shots. Okay, she so like, she Kah. yeah. She had like she was like ringing a little bell. She's she practically like, a promoter. She was a promoter, and then she got behind the bar. She started doing her thing, and I tell you what, that drink that she got me, I think I was more in love with that drink than I was with the girl. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh-huh. I, that's happened to me a couple of times. And I was like, wow. I also wouldn't go out to a bar. This happened to you before? Eh, uh, kind of. Really? Yeah, but I wouldn't go that far for... To go out. But I didn't... Like, I would, I would only, like, go out to places, like, within a block radius of where I lived. Yeah, but you're not gonna find the hotties. Yeah. If you don't get out of the habitat. I always did. If you don't get out of the habit teat, you're not gonna find the penguin exhibit. I once I once gave a bartender a bouquet of flowers. No. And that that In the middle of a night? Yeah. How embarrassing for the bartender. They I you know they didn't act that way. They didn't act embarrassed. Dude, all this would have changed if you were with me. If I had my boys with me, if I was like full boys. Yeah, who were you in, out with? No one. That I was thought you were out with some girl. No. I was trying to get out of my feelings. No, you're telling me a lie now. Because no. yesterday you were like, I'm going out with somebody. No. Listen. Some girl. Listen, I was supposed to go out with my girlfriend. Okay. And then we've been on the outs. It's like three strikes. You're out. Is, are you the one who had the three strikes? No. She did. Listen, I, I'm, we'll get into that later. Okay. Save that for like the bonus material. Okay. Save that for the bonus material. Okay. Because that is just not going to. Fly. Come out. Okay, yeah. This is more of like a fucking wasp. Not like a, a white, a, a white Anglo-Saxon Protestant? Exactly. Okay. And so, okay, would you have fought the guy? Or would you have ran like I did? Because I was like fucking forest fucking I would have invited. I, I would have invited. If I was in that position, I would have invited both of them 
back to work out their issues privately. No, dude, this is not, this is real fucking life. This isn't some storybook wedding, bridesmaid, uh, wedding crashers. People do that kind of this stuff. This is wedding crashers, okay, Vince Vaughn? Okay. Vince Vaughn in that movie. <laughs> dude, Vince. That's a weird movie. Bro, Vince Vaughn in any movie. Yeah. I'm like so obsessed. Like, I think he's weird. No, like the fact that he, of all people, he is like a god to me. Like, for all the boys out there, if you're a boy, if you're a bro, you know that Vince Vaughn is kind of like your spirit animal. Because how did he get into Hollywood at all? Because he's, he's not He's anything. such a terrible actor. Yeah. And I don't think he's a good writer. I don't think he's a good producer. But lo and behold, the camera is on him, and he is a millionaire. I think that he probably has some dirt. Like, he's got some blackmail... It was just like the right time. I think I think he was like an improv guy. And he just looked like a guy. And in the early 2000s, they were like really looking for guys to like be dudes in Hollywood. There was a lot of like dudes. Mm-hmm. You know, Kevin James, Jack Black, uh, Ben Stiller, uh, Owen Wilson, Vince Vaughn, Will Ferrell, uh, Fucking, uh, you know, fucking... Uh, Elijah Wood. Yeah, Elijah Wood, the original <laughs> dude. <laughs> the original. You gotta look like Elijah. No? No, I don't. Who do you think... Who do people say that you look like the mob? Everyone says somebody different. Every single person who's ever said, Oh, you look like so-and-so? It's never been the same name twice. Really? 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 I've heard everything you can possibly think of. Well... I know that you have something special you wanted to show us. So, okay, wait, hold on, back up. What's been, like, the wildest one that people have said? Like, you look like Britney Spears. And you're like, what? You're it's like, been the wildest you're like thing? what, 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 what? It's really the least interesting conversation I can think of. Like, I can't think of something less interesting than celebrities people have said that I've looked like. <laughs> Dude. This is the cool shit. Okay? What do you What do you get? I get like Vince Vaughn. <laughs> I wish, bro. No, there. I get like really like ugly guys. Like they say, like you look like fucking Orlando Bloom. I'm like, dude, that take that shit out of here, okay, bro. I mean, respectfully, bro. And they're like, you look like Johnny Depp on a good day. I'm like, fuck you, okay. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, with the facial hair, you are kind of giving Johnny Depp vibes now. Like current Johnny Depp vibes. Yeah. Where it's like... When you met me... Your career is over, but you're still going to be doing like perfume and whiskey ads. Yeah. Dude, have you seen his new perfume ad? No. Dude, so he's standing there in the middle of just CGI land. Okay? So picture just like a barren CGI land. Picture like Linkin Park music video. You know, it's just like... You don't know where that... It's like some... uh, He's like on Mars, but it's like... Just clearly, it could have been anything. Yeah, it's like okay, this is just CGI. He's just he in front even of a, no, no, yeah. And then then he plays guitar, right? He's like, he's got his guitar and he's dressed like Johnny Depp, right? He's got his hair, and he's like, and he plays guitar and it's just a few chords. Like you could play this, anyone, a child could play this on guitar, right? Yeah. And he plays it and it's out of tune. The guitar is just out of tune, so he just <laughs> sounds terrible, right? He does like three big chugs on it. And then out of nowhere, from behind CGI rocks around him, come huge wolves. They look like they're from Game of Thrones. And they circle around Johnny Depp and they just go, Ooh! and then it goes, oh, de puff up, Dior, or whatever. And that's the commercial. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm watching this. I'm like, what the fuck was that? What am I watching? And this was like, this was coming out when he was like on trial and all this shit. Yeah, I remember he was getting a lot of ads space yeah. when he was when he was on trial there were like billboards and things of him yeah yeah and i'm like wow where that whole thing was i'm very like step aside odd. johnny dad get me i look just lego so let's like yeah. funnel that in can, can you give me your best jack sparrow impression uh i if i heard you know i can do any impression if i hear it but hold on let me just from memory i haven't seen pirates of the caribbean in a while okay <laughs> that is a certified classic is it? I didn't care for it. The fourth one's amazing. Is that the one where they're like running around and it's like... What's, what's the, the one where they're like running through like 
at the end, there's like a, kind of a. Well, there's like a. Uh, they're outside and they. It's like an obstacle course. That's the second one. Okay. Yeah, that's the second one. Why are they in that obstacle? Course? I don't know. That that whole the whole third act of that one is just them running around. Yeah, they're just running around. And then the movie just ends. You're like, wait, did anything get resolved? Like, what? And the... it didn't. No. But that guy with the. Davy Davy Jones. Yeah, Davy Jones. Jack Sparrow. Yeah. Oh, you can do him. He's great. Yeah, I love Davy Jones. It was good character design. Oh, amazing. And this, why does he look so much better than any CGI from today? It makes no. It just goes to show you the time. It's the same way that we like don't the have art. the technology to get to the moon. Like CGI is actually getting worse. Yeah, it's way worse. It peaked with Return of the King. I agree. Or Davy Jones. That's what we're talking about. They came out about the same time, yeah, I think. Yeah, exactly. And it looks so good. Because it's like a mix of like costuming and CGI. Which is the golden ticket. You need practical and special. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I can do a good Davy Jones. Jack Sparrow. It's a, uh, I can like run like Jack Sparrow. Mm-hmm. Is that how he runs? I like the little. I like the run that he does. But you know if, what, if I, I heard him, I could go. Yeah. Well, what, what's the line that Jack Sparrow says? He doesn't really have like any. Uh, ahoy! Uh, uh, like, uh, he does that one where what? I got a. I got a. I got a job dead. I got a job dead. I got a job dead. Because yeah. oh, well, well, that was the big meme was that uh, Amber Heard said that he had a jar of what looked like drugs but it was clearly the jar of dirt prop <laughs> and she was like he had a jar of drugs a jar of drugs and so they would show her talking about it mm -hmm. and then they would show the scene from the movie yeah all right well i think now it's time to do this grand reveal of your shirt is that oh i was just gonna like nonchalantly pull it off and then have oh. you overreact to it okay uh we'll save that then We'll cut that. Uh, so moving on, we have something special to do here at the end of the show. Okay, is it the end? No, not the end, but like something special that's going to lead us to the end. Okay, what? Let me do this part. Okay. Uh, all right, so bros, we're gonna do an improv gauntlet. Okay, we're basically gonna sharpen our skills. Okay, because me and Ian Wit, we both come from that kind of background. Highly of trained. That kind of background of just like, whoa, what the fuck? What? Is that a shirt with your name on it? Oh my god. Oh shit, dude. Whoa! Do you wanna whoa. do you wanna buy one? What are those on sale? No. What? I, I like the font. What kind of that's like that's like uh, A friend of mine made it. I feel like I was doing that kind of shit in like, you know, preschool kinda a kid like preschool font. A kid that I knew in preschool times, did this. And I put it on a shirt. I thought you were going to say, a kid I knew that's in preschool. A <laughs> kid I knew in preschool. Well, I knew him when he was in preschool. Mm -hmm. We had the same babysitter. That's your fucking name, dude. Yeah. All you got to do is just slap a little dot .com to that, and then you could really start making some fucking moolah. <laughs> well, you think so? Yeah, dude. If I just put dot .com, I'll start making money. Dude, it's the we live in the dot .com era. Do we? No. I feel like, if anything, we live in the .edu era. Everything has to be a .edu. .gov. Yeah, that's what you need to do is get a .gov. <laughs> Ian Witt .gov. charging people taxes. Yeah, dude. That'd be sick. Yeah. But uh, that's awesome. Okay, can we stop the show? Buzz. Are you seeing this, Buzz? <laughs> dude, Buzz is freaking out. He's like, what? I wear this. You had that on the entire time? Yeah. Dude, that I've is... I've never not worn it. Dude, that is so... If you go back and look at all of our past episodes, I'm actually wearing this shirt and all What? Of Dude, no way. Buzz, go back. Pull up the clips, bro. Yeah. Bro, pull up the clips, because that is so, like, next level. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What um, inspired this shirt for you, Mike? Um, I had a friend of mine who did... Who does art, and he did, like, a portrait of me, and it just looks like an alien it doesn't look like me at all and then he did i was like i need a logo i was mm. like i need someone to design me a logo so i paid him like 75 dollars to do this yeah how long ago that's a fair price how long ago was this was this how God, long ago? i still lived in brooklyn so it was probably 20 
13, 2014. Is this still your logo to this day? Yeah, haven't you ever like looked at my Facebook? Uh, your Facebook, bro? Who's on Facebook anymore, right, bros? <laughs> that one's on Facebook anymore. Yeah. Well, if you were on Facebook and you looked me up, this is all you would see. All right. Well, I, I dig it, man. I like the white, too. I like the white background with like the... With the colors. It looks cool. Yeah, it's just a splash of color. I like that end He's design. He's going to do another one. Really? Yeah. 75 more bucks? We'll see. He needs so, a quick 75. What? Oh, this end? Yeah. Yeah, it reminds me of the end on your shirt. <laughs> For, what's that? The Chicago Cubs? This is the Chicago Bulls. The Bulls? The Chicago Bulls? No, it's the New Jersey Devils. Dead Code Devils. Oh, yeah. Blech. Blech. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna. Why do you think the New Jersey chose the Devils? Um, Isn't that kind of like dark? It, it is, and it, I think it does. I think in a way it spurs out of the fear of the devil, the fear of. Uh, there's a lot of God fearing people in New Jersey. It's very uh, Catholic. Catholic, like not. We, we talk a lot about Protestant faith. We talk a lot about Buddha, and we talk a lot about Vishnu or whatever. But we don't really talk a lot about just Roman Catholicism. On this show, and that's the New Jersey, Northern New Jersey, Northern New, Northeastern New Jersey, God fearing people up there. You know what I mean? Um, and so I think that when they were making their hockey team, they were like, "How do we instill fear into the hearts of our opponents?" Okay. Yeah, I think that, that these days it'd be better off if they were like, "We're the New Jersey priests," and it had the it had like the that would be more the, scary. The, the Pope's hat. No, it was like just the the Pope hair. Mm-hmm. That's bald on top, and the mascot is just like a archbishop. <laughs> yeah, people would be scared. Mm-hmm. I'd be scared mm-hmm. sitting there. I'd be like, "Wow, dude!" But I don't know. I like the devils. You know, they're chill. Yeah, they're chill. Uh, all right, bro. So I, as I was saying, that is awesome. I was, as I was saying, dude, we're gonna do a little improv gauntlet here. We haven't really showcased our abilities from an improv standpoint, and. We've done a lot of different points, but we've never stood. Um, yeah, you stood up once. At a point. No, no, I don't... Yeah, well, I, that was because I was activated with you. But um, <laughs> what we're going to do is I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna test Ian Witt here, who is a quote-unquote master of improv. And, bros, we're just going to get into it, okay? We're just going to go through the line. I have pulled up a list of... Uh, I'm, I'm, there's like a list of like kind of cliche improv prompts. Like pepperoni pizza. But we're going to go through and pick five of each of these lists. And then at the end of it, I have a random improv generator that's going to finish it all off. Okay. And we're just going to showcase a little bit why we're sitting here and you're not. Okay. I'm talking to the viewers. Okay. So let's get into it right now. Okay, so Ian is not prepared. Are you prepared for this? Let let that be clear. You're not prepared for this, right? Zip, zap, zap. You're not prepared. Zip, zap, zap. Which means no in improv. If you if you were in improv, you'd know that means that means fuck. Yeah, zip, zap, zap means fuck. Zip, zap, zap means penis. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So this <laughs> to start off, to start or it means steak and did eggs. You, did you ever play the penis game? Yeah. Where you have to yell at? Yeah. I do that still like on the train. If I'm going like intercontinental, I still yeah. do that. I like to do it at the courthouse. You know what's funny is if you do that in Cambodia. Because in Cambodia, they still kind of understand English a little bit. And they'll kill you. And they'll like kill you. And that's funny. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Yeah. Would you do it in court? I, I have done it in court. I used to work as like a sketch artist. And I would do like I would be like sketching like the people. Play, I got fired from this job. You played the penis game with yourself. And I was like or? penis. I was like penis. I was like I was like penis. You'd play it with the stenographer in the bailiff. <laughs> yeah, I was sitting. <laughs> the bailiff always. We talk about giving the stink eye. Penis. But he, he was giving me like that that queer eye. Like, <laughs> well, bailiffs are notorious sluts. <laughs> really? Yeah. You have any good bailiff stories? Well, because he takes you out of the courtroom in mm-hmm. handcuffs. Like, what do you think is going to happen? Yeah, dude, there are no bros in the judicial branch. All the bros are like chilling in. Like, I mean, could you imagine if the a legislative bro was, branch? If a bro became a judge? No, I don't want a bros to become judge. That doesn't make any fucking sense. That doesn't make any sense. That just does not compute. Mm-mm. And I feel like most judges now are women. 
Um, I feel like whenever I see a judge like on TV, well, we're in the we're in the post Judy era, right? She really was a champion. I think Judy's still working, isn't she? No, she's done, Dad. (laughs) She's She's retired. I think she's done, or she's on season season end. She's on final season. She's in season infinity. Yeah, dude. After the show's done, she's gonna be like, "I was never a judge. This was just a show." Yeah, there is no Judy. Every episode is scripted. Well, yeah. Yeah. But let me make sure we're good on the on the canvas here. The battery. Right, let's see what the battery's looking like. I just feel like this isn't doing anything. Have you finished it? No. Dude, you're like a goblin with fucking caffeine. All right, you need. I haven't even cracked open my bowl. You gotta chill your boner, dude. You're a bro, dude. Yeah, that's that's the size difference between me and Ian. All right, so let's get into this little actividad, as they say, in Barcelona. Barcelona. They say actividad. And we're going to start with funny improv prompts. So there's going to be like categories, and I'm going to choose. So the prompt is going to be funny, so we need to make it not funny. And I'm going to choose five of each of these categories, okay? And then we're going to do the scene, and then it's going to be a natural conclusion to the scenes. And we're going to rip through as many as we can. And then the last thing we're going to do is just a random generated uh prompts okay? okay all right so let's start to get into it now okay and i'm gonna read you the first one okay and you're gonna initiate all of them and i'm gonna be your partner but since this is more of a challenge for you you're gonna initiate all of them, okay all right funny improv props uh grand opening of a restaurant gone wrong uh hey uh can I just get uh, some bread? No. Okay, we well, can't do it as the character. What do you mean? You're doing it as the character. What do you mean? You're doing your like weird fucking shit. Huh? You're doing your weird shit. You got something to say? Say it. What are you talking about? Is I'm, this part of the scene? This no. is really good. <laughs> I'm saying <laughs> what? You're doing weird shit, and I just like. At least be Italian. Like clearly, if I'm asking for bread, it's probably an Italian. Place. What do you mean? We're, I'm not. I'm not doing anything. This is how yeah. I you're am. doing the character. You're doing which character? You're doing the witch character. The witch character. Yeah. The you're like you're like that thing. Just like let it go. No, I. You mean this? Yes. New persona. Yeah. Of me being a bro. Correct. This is how I am. Okay. Not. Wh- you don't like it? It's fine. It's just it's it's gonna get old. Like the people, you know, they want to see variety, and they want to see the real Kyle. Yeah. It's just been hard for me lately. I know you create it. You create this persona in order to protect yourself. It's, no, it's just not been going well with because, my yeah because with my you girlfriend. Don't like yourself. It's not been going well because with my... you don't like who you are. This isn't me. I know it's not. This isn't me! I know. What is this? It's not you. (laughs) It's just been so hard without my girlfriend around. I mean, you don't even like New Jersey. I hate it. You're from the Midwest. Uh, You don't want me to be my true self! Correct. I am this Jersey, okay? I know. 